We've been having our own little Justin Bieber lookalike competition, yeah? And we have found ourselves a winner, a king, um, or we should call him a prince, Kim Worrell. Thank you so much for bringing your shining, beautiful example of a pug into studio. He is just gloriously handsome. Oh. Hey, princey boy. Ansi, welcome back. Um, Kim, what a lovely character he has and devilishly good looks. Um, tell us a little bit about the pug. Tell us about your pug. Mm. Uh, this is the third pug that I've owned wow. and I, the other two I had I didn't have as puppies so this has been a real learning experience um, they are so full of character and they're very headstrong ah. but they just want to be loved and they want to be part of a family and they're just at their happiest when they're with you and they are funny they are very they, very funny. They we, laugh from laugh. Morning, they, we laugh from morning to night with him he's our built-in entertainment at home. <laughs> he, he's almost like a caricature of a dog. He really is the sweetest thing. Um, well, actually, well, he's not really tired. a dog. He's a pug. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. We need to make the distinction. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think you just got a rolled eyeball, a giant rolled eyeball. So, and see, obviously training is vital, but I hear with the pug, even more um, necessary. They, they can be, as, as Kim pointed out, quite headstrong. They need that guiding light. Very mm. much so. If you, get, if you get them as puppies, then you definitely want to go to puppy school and get all of that socializing issues out of the way. Yesterday, I mean, last week we discussed tra <coughs> excuse me, training methods and we came to the, the common denominator between all training methods are consequences, good ones or bad ones. Yeah. And Such is life. The, cho mm. yeah, the choices <laughs> you make will directly influence your relationship with your dog. So when you choose the good consequences, that's great, you can't go too wrong there, but the bad ones, you need to be careful of which ones you're selecting. Mm. Because bad consequences ideally should stop the bad behavior. Good consequences will get the dog to keep Reinforce repeating. That. Okay. Yeah, the, the good behavior. Uh, now, of course, we could talk about all sorts of wonderful tricks that you teach a dog mm. that are actually helpful, but with a pug, you get to have a lot of fun and teach a tricks that are just hugely entertaining. Um, what, what tricks have you covered with him? Or, or well, give us a Kim, little basic Kim, training. That Kim was part of the puppy class, and she actually just threw good consequences. Her pug just was brilliant in class. Aww. And this trick, I didn't teach. They just, it just happened. I mean, it was absolutely and you've brilliant. Been moonlighting, moonlighting <laughs> tricks after hours. Okay, show us this trick because I've seen it and it's awesome. Okay, well, this is just this came as a consequence of things that techniques that Auntie showed us um, through repetition. Princey, play dead. <gasps> is it dead? Is it alive? Come oh no! Oh yeah! Good boy. Well, I was going to have to resuscitate you. Oh no! Don't worry. Don't look so shocked. It's all right. I want to kiss you, boy. It's okay. Hey, oh, Prince. Oh no! Oh no, Prince. Come live. Oh, you're so cute, man. And you can see he loves it as well. And it's a great way of engaging with your dog. It's not just about, you know, getting a good laugh, but it's about that socializing with your dog, about making them feel like they're a priority. Yeah, yeah. and it's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Yeah, we yeah. have so many sort of characters with him and, um, you know, sort of things that he does out of himself, which are so entertaining. And you can, you know, the, sort of our friends know about it and engage with him in the same way. And... You know, he's, he's quite well known in the Republic of Hout Bay. I oh, oh, I can imagine. He's the king of the hill. Hey, Prince. So when um, selecting puppy trainers, when going about this process for ourselves, um, what are the watchwords? What should we be careful of? And, and um, as, a, as an owner, what um, sort of basic techniques or, or how should we approach training our puppy? I think one needs to look for the magic words of positive dog training. Okay. Be it puppy or, or adult dog. You, 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 we really can't go wrong with positive training methods. The old-fashioned negative methods are going to get your results slower, but you're going to have a dog that does not have a good relationship with you and who will do it out of fear. Yeah. And it's not a good way to go. Yeah, no, and, we, and we've learned that you really do teach by example, and Bob and Biller have shown us that, and, <laughs> oh, little prince here. I think he is a shining example of what a dog could be, hey? Like, Mum, it's early. It's way too early. Pugs love sleeping. They really love their sleep. So they're a very easy family animal if you don't like getting up early in the morning. Oh, no, he is an absolute dream. I'm going to get a little QT with Prince off camera. Guys, thank you so much for coming through. Kim, thank Pleasure. you so much. Prince, go back to sleep, sunshine. <laughs> um, Auntie, thank you. This is thank wonderful. You, We're going to take a very quick break. Then our crazy Wednesday morning continues. Pixie Bennett in the house. We've got a lot to cook, and it looks like some delicious baking to do as well. Stick around.
He just keeps going. That's the strength you get from Bubtail. Bubtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs.